The Secret of the Crystal Cave Chapter 2 The World of Eternal Autumn As Ava and Max stepped through the portal, they were enveloped in a whirlwind of gold and crimson leaves. They found themselves in a breathtaking forest where autumn reigned eternal. The ground was carpeted with leaves, and the trees were a spectacular array of oranges, reds, and yellows. A serene river meandered through the forest, its waters reflecting the vibrant colors of the trees above. However, the beauty of this world was overshadowed by a palpable gloom. The sky, obscured by dark clouds, allowed only a few rays of sunlight to penetrate. The air, though crisp, carried a chill that seemed unnatural, and an oppressive silence hung over the land. The creatures of the forest, once vibrant and full of life, now moved with a cautious, subdued air. Ava and Max soon learned from the forest inhabitants, a community of talking animals and sentient trees, that their world had been darkened by an eternal beast known as the Shadow Stag. This creature, once a guardian of the forest, had been corrupted by a mysterious force, turning it into a creature of darkness. It roamed the forest, casting a shadow that blotted out the sun and drained the life from their world. Determined to restore the world's natural balance, Ava and Max devised a plan. They noticed that the crystal pendants they wore glowed brighter in the presence of the Shadow Stag's darkening. They decided to use this light as a lure, creating a trail of light leading to a clearing where they had set up mirrors around the perimeter. Their plan was to trap the Shadow Stag in a circle of light, hoping to dispel the darkness within it. With the help of their new forest friends, they executed their plan. Ava and Max ventured deep into the forest, drawing the Shadow Stag out of hiding. As it followed them to the clearing, the siblings ran swiftly just ahead of its shadows. Once in the clearing, the beast found itself surrounded by mirrors reflecting the light from the crystal pendants. The light intensified, becoming almost blinding, At the climax of their plan, the shadow stag caught in the relentless light, let out a mighty roar. The darkness that had enveloped it began to dissipate, revealing a majestic stag, its fur shimmering with colors of autumn. The corruption had been cleansed and the creature's true form restored. As the shadow stag regained its benevolence, the clouds that shrouded the sky began to part, allowing sunlight to flood the forest once again. Life returned to the world of eternal autumn, the trees swayed with renewed vigor, and the forest creatures rejoiced in the sunlight. Ava and Max had not only restored the sunlight, but also returned the shadow stag to its rightful place as the forest's guardian. The inhabitants of the forest gathered to thank them, celebrating their bravery and cleverness with a feast beneath the boughs of the golden trees. The siblings shared stories of their own world, forming bonds that would last a lifetime. As night fell, the shadow stag approached Ava and Max, bowing its great head in gratitude. It gifted them a pair of antlers, shedding them as a symbol of the darkness it had overcome. The antlers, glowing softly with the light of autumn, were a token of the forest's eternal gratitude. With hearts full of pride and new friendships forged, Ava and Max knew it was time to continue their journey. They bid farewell to the world of eternal autumn, stepping back through the portal with the antlers in hand, ready for the next adventure that awaited them. What wonders and perils would they find in the magical worlds beyond? And who was the unseen watcher, whispering warnings in the shadows? 
The answer's lay just on the other side of the light, 